What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you, Madden 20. Gonna take a look at two plays here. Almost like the detail series I did with Madden 19 that I'm gonna return with this year. But I want to talk about a couple things that just continue to hinder this game. And I don't, I don't care how you want to look at it or how you want to portray it needs to be fixed. One of the things Madden did this year was put in the X-Factors, put in the Superstar players. And as a commentator, that kind of impacts what I do. Because now I have to look at situations differently and say, okay, can this player make this impact? So in a play like this, that's really kind of the first place I'm torn. When we look at pressure to the quarterback, I can look at an X-Factor player or a superstar player and say, yes, he should be one of the first back to the quarterback. However, past couple years in Madden, you can see a double team block here. If I slow this down, I want you to understand what happens. This is why pockets are hard to read. The lineman shifts in between the blockers and now this is the second biggest pressure the quarterback faces it should not be this way the double team should be the most secure now as far as this tackle I know there's gonna be people that complain that was a motion shift tackle I don't need games to be perfect people say I need games to be perfect to defend this game when I show you a bad play there are going to be shifting and warping and animation transitions that happen in any game as long as I can look at a play and say, yes, that probably would have happened, I'm okay. That tackle probably would have happened. So with that in mind, we're going to go back, same exact play. I want you to look at how the defense covers Cook. Now, I know some people will sit here and say, but they didn't fix zones this year. They didn't touch zones this year. I don't care how you want to approach in what we're actually fixing. Is this procedural awareness? Is this read and react defense? Is this zone coverage? It makes no difference to me. This is broken. So however they want to label fixing it, fix it. Make an improvement to your game that impacts people that play the game and see it getting better. So first thing I want you to understand is there are three defenders on this quarter of the field and there's really only one receiver and that other receiver coming across. So the breakdown comes in in how they handle these crossing players. The linebacker closest to you in the middle of the field literally just goes and stands still. The other trails appropriately. The problem now is, as I'm getting ready to throw the ball, he is in the middle of the field. He's not covering any type of zone where the receiver would be. And right now, he's turning the other way and running the opposite direction. This is a third and 15 completion. You cannot click on every single player on defense and fix what they're doing. There is no excuse for a player to release a tight end, a wide receiver, a halfback, anyone out of a zone that way, standing in the middle of the field, just to allow them to pick up an easy 15 yards. And even though that's set on the run, I had time to stop setting my feet and throw the ball, so I don't exactly know why that happened. I would love to know what you guys think about this. I appreciate you checking this out, and I will be back very shortly with more commentary. 